Hello, this is Dale. In this video, what I want to talk about is managing credit spread risk. Uh, credit spreads are what I believe the very best way to bring in consistent profits from the stock market. However, you don't want to let a credit spread get away from you. And I've done videos before talking about how to manage that risk. Today, in today's video, I'm going to want, I'm going to show you how to use one canceled other to automate your strategy to exit when for a profit and exit for a loss. And today, I'm going to be talking about uh, a bull put that we put on Costco. This just recently, we, we took this off with a very nice profit. Uh, I'm going to be doing another one where I'm going to do a bear call, and uh, and I'm going to show you uh, a loss how we um, how we uh, got out of the the um, credit spread with a loss when it was triggered automatically with an OCO trade. I think this is going to be uh, very beneficial, especially to those people that. Uh, you know, are, are still uh, working for a living and, uh, you know, struggling to, to be on the computer all the time. Um, I personally do not watch the market all day long. I, uh, I like to look at it the first thing in the morning, usually about noontime and then the close. Um, but other than that, I pretty much let the market go. Um, I do implement uh, one cancels other trades uh, at, at, at points that I believe are beneficial for me to exit. Now, I'm not a real advocate for stop losses. Um, however, with an OCO, uh, it, it, you, you can, on your chart, you can basically go ahead and, and put in where you want to get out when it, it, you have a profit and where you want to get out when you have a loss. So, um, and then with an OCO, you can, you can automatically trigger this. You don't have to use this, but you can use it as a guide and get out when you, when you choose using this information as a guide. So let's uh, just take a quick look at why I like vertical uh, credit spreads so much. Uh, they give you great returns, uh, yields monthly income on a consistent basis. Uh, there will be losses, there will be losing streaks, but uh, in the long run, you're going to have a, a very profitable strategy. I'll show you at the end how my uh, how my strategy is fared, uh, and and I'm going to just show you for the last. Uh, two and a half years from uh, 2020, 2020 uh, being the, uh, you know, COVID-19 was not a great year for uh, the market. Uh, and I want to show you the returns that we have had trading just vertical credit spreads. Uh, you have a high probability of success. Uh, one of the nice things about vertical credit spreads is you are the seller. You're going to sell. We're going to, we're going to, we're we're going to sell and 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 when you do that we're going to do um, we're going to sell an out of the money option and we're going to buy one further out of the money for protection. Uh, when you sell uh, an out of the money option, there's only time value associated with that premium. It has no value other than time. So time is in our favor, and and the longer you're in a trade, that 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 a premium erodes because of time. With the vertical credit spreads, you don't have to constantly watch the market. You don't have to chart hawk. It's a low anxiety trade, especially if you start implementing some of the things I'm going to be showing you today. And of course, uh, when we buy one further out of the money, you are protecting yourself against catastrophic losses. Now, there's two kinds of vertical credit spreads that uh, that I use. Uh, the other type is an iron condor. I don't use that too much. I usually like to, to see 
which direction the market's going and either put on a bear call, which is a type of option strategy you use when you think that the price is going to drop. Uh, it's achieved by selling a call option at a, a price while buying the same number out of the money. Therefore, the operative word here is bearish. This is a bearish strategy. Uh, just the opposite is true with the bull put. A bull put, what you're doing is you're selling a put. Uh, this is a bullish strategy. Uh, this is a, a strategy constructed by selling one put while simultaneously buying another, <coughs> excuse me, further out of the money. Okay, uh, this is a bull put we placed on Costco on uh, June 9th, 2023. Uh, the price was right at around 518, 518. And we sold a 21 July with the strike price at 4.95, and we bought one further out of the money at 4.85 for protection. This credit spread gave us a net credit of a dollar 23. With a spread of 10 points, I was basically had ten dollars minus the credit of a dollar 23, or $8.77 at risk to gain $1.23. Uh, so the risk reward ratio is almost seven to one. Ouch, I, you know, that's not the kind of, that's why people I think shy away from credit spreads. They look at, they look at uh, you know, the risk reward ratio and say, boy, this, this, this doesn't look good at all. However, if you manage that risk, this you can turn this around to be in a very very profitable strategy the credit did have a high probability 80 percent uh, however even if you won 80 percent and lost 20 percent with a seven to one losing ratio you could expect, and I, I utilize this formula, which was taught to me a long time ago, to look at expected return per trade. You take the profitable percent, in this case it would be 80%, times the reward, which in this case would be $1.23 or $123 per contract, minus 20%, which is the losing percentage, times 877, which is the margin or the or the um, um, the 10 point spread minus the credit you're taking in uh, therefore you have a 98 dollars minus 175 or you can expect to lose 77 dollars per contract per trade okay that's not what we want so if the trade goes against me I have two rules. First of all, if it goes below or at a support point, I wanna seriously consider exiting. Also, I wanna use the risk profile to edit it to, to exit at about 10% of margin. Okay, now margin for one contract on a vertical credit spread 10 points apart is 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 10 times 100 shares per contract or a thousand dollars okay so six percent of a thousand dollars is sixty dollars that's what i want to risk and how did i come up with that six percent i have been doing this for greater than four decades and i keep i keep vigorous records and over the years, you know, I looked at what was my loss percent. Now, sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower, but the average is right around 6% of margin. So therefore, that is my uncle point. <clears throat> my uncle point 
you know, going back to, you know, grade school when uh, the bully on the playground would uh, grab your arm and twist it behind your back and until you said, uncle, it hurt, it started to hurt. Okay, so the 6% point is when things are starting to hurt. When you look at the risk profile, this green line is what it, it, it will be when it expires. And look, you can see there's the, there's the, the uh, risk versus reward. All right. However, what we want to do is this purple line shows what's, what goes on uh, day to day. And this line shifts up or down depending on how the, the, the underlying is doing. Um, I look at this, this uh, risk profile and come over and I put this line right at 6%, okay, or $60 per contract. That is my uncle point, okay? So therefore, if you look at this, I know that right around 506 is where I'm probably going to look to get out of this trade. All right, so let me go forward. Forward. Um, if I do that, again, I've got a high expectation. And, and um, statistically, you know, when you sell a... Um, a strike price uh, at at the uh, at twenty percent of the uh, a point two of delta, it gives you about eighty percent chance that 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 option is going to expire worthless. That's what we want. We're sellers, okay? Now, over the uh, let me get back to that chart. Over the uh, uh, eleven plus years that I've publicly been releasing my trades. Um, I've averaged about 75% winners. Okay. Uh, but in, for this example, I'm just going to get 80%, 80% times the, the $123 per contract minus 20%. And this point in time, I'm going to say $60 at risk. Now I've just flipped it around. And now all of a sudden I have a positive $86 per trade per contract. That is a positive expectation, and you can just execute those trades and take that money to the bank. So we have our loss target. Now, if we're going to automate this, how about our profit target? Okay, we're going to use the same risk profile. Um, and using the risk profile, I'm gonna exit at about plus 10% of margin. With a loss, it's minus 6%. With a gain, it's plus 10%. Okay, right away, you can see that I, I've got more money when I have a winner versus a loser, okay? The other thing I'm gonna look at is the Fibonacci extension of the measured move of about 127%, okay? In the example given, 10% of margin would be a debit of 23 cents, okay, from $1.23 to 23 cents or $100 per contract. And what we're looking at is when it gets around $531, all right? So here's our, here's our loss point, and here's our profit point, 506, 531. Okay, so going back to the chart now, of Costco. Here was the uh, here was the um, um, credit spread that we put on, and here's the 506, and here's the 531. Now notice that the 531 not only showed up on our risk profile, but there it is for a Fibonacci extension of 127. That's a beautiful place to exit take your profits and get out. So we've got our loss target, our profit target. Now, if we set these up automatically, now what I've got is a, is a, a strategy and, and uh, an, an OCO trade in that's gonna get me out when it hits that point. And here's when, it, here's when it, uh, we got out right here. It hit that point and out we go, all right? Okay, so how do we do this? We're gonna use a one canceled other order, an OCO. 
And we're going to look for a profit target of about 10% of margin or $100, where we sold a vertical for $1.23. So we're going to want to buy it back at a debit of 23 cents or $1. Okay. Now remember, we're sellers. So we want to see that 123 go down to 23 cents. Now our loss target is 6% of margin or $60. So I'm going to want to sell, uh, and I sold the vertical for $1.23. I want to buy it back for 60 cents plus this $1.23 or $1.83. Okay, so this is the way the order is going to look. Now, what I'd like to do is go over to uh, Thinkorswim and actually walk you through that. Let me see if I can do that. Let's see, here is... Here is the Costco trade, and I'm using uh, on demand. So I'm going back in time to uh, to June June 9th uh, when we set this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to right click on Costco. I'm going to create a, a closing order. I'm going to create a closing order. Okay. Once I have that. I want to come up here and I want to see where it says single order, advanced order. I want to come down here and, and, and click a one cancel other, OCO. All right. Now I want to right click here and I want to duplicate. I want to duplicate that order. Okay. So this is going to be my order to get out with a profit. This is going to be my order to get out with the loss. Okay, so for the profit, I want to look at, what was it, uh, 23 cents, I think. So we just come up here and change this to 23 cents. Uh, that's going to be a limit order. And uh, let's make that, make sure we make that good till cancel. All right. And that will be our profit order. Then our loss order is going to be $1.83 dollar 83 and we're going to make that a stop we're going to make that a stop and also we're going to make this good till cancel okay so here you go that's our order that we have set up um, now if if one gets filled it's going to take the other one out that's what this order is if if my profit gets filled it's going to take out the loss order all right I go ahead and confirm and send that. And now I want to go up to the monitor tab and you can see how that is now a working order. This is my this is my Costco uh, vertical spread and I've got good till canceled. I want to I want to buy it back with either a profit or a loss. So now I've got it all bracketed. It's automatic. I can go about what I'm doing. If I'm in a business meeting, I know that if it hits those points, I'm going to get out. Now with the stop loss, and this is basically why I don't use stop losses, but in this particular instance, when people are, can't be at their computer the whole time, it's probably worth their while to at least have this bracketed. But with a stop loss, you don't necessarily, you're not going to necessarily get out at a dollar eighty-three. If, if the market tumbles like crazy, it might be, uh, you know, as bad as a 203 or 230 or something like that. But you're going to get out because the market has gone against you. OK, so this is this is a good thing. And remember that 6 percent, sometimes it's going to be higher. Sometimes it's going to be lower. OK, so let's go back then to the slideshow. And. Let me see where we were at. Let's see if I can bring that up. There we go. Whoops, I want to <laughs> let me kind of go quickly through these slides. Okay. And um, so, so using this strategy. Uh, not using stop loss, but but showing people how to do this automatically. You can see the kind of returns on margin I have had since 2020. And uh, 
this is the kind of, and the, the latest update was on this was uh, June 29th of, of 2023. Uh, you can see in COVID we had, uh, we had some losing streaks, uh, but this is the kind of equity curve you can just take to the bank. This is consistent profits. When you get to the point where you are trading at this level, these are the kind of returns you can expect. It's gonna take you a while to learn this strategy, but once you got it mastered, uh, uh, it's, it's gonna be all yours, all right? Now, uh, is it possible for you to be successful allowing me to do all the work? And what I'm gonna do uh, with all my members is uh, I'm gonna be not only sending them out an alert that says, okay, set up a vertical spread um, on Costco where you're selling the 21 July 4.95 and buying the 4.85 back for $1.23. But probably the next day, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be sending out, okay, now let's set up an OCO order where we're, um, we're, we want to set up the, a profit at 23 cents uh, limit, and then we want to set up a, a second one for a loss at a dollar 83 stop. Uh, I'm going to start implementing that immediately. Um, I don't release uh, I don't release a lot of trades, but the ones I do release are my very best. And now that I have uh, you know some automated uh, signals in there for you. I think you're you're going to be doing uh, very well. Uh, as a member, you're going to be able to learn as you, you're going to be able to earn as you learn. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, this is really good for new traders uh, as, or, or people that are can't be at the computer all the time, as, as well as the experienced traders. This this. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to set these trades up, when to take profits, when to take loss. Um, it's for individuals with a small portfolio or large. I've got uh, many, uh, many members with a portfolio of about 10 to 20,000, which is fine. They're starting out small. They're learning the strategy. I've got many members with um, millions in their portfolio that use this strategy. Not uh, not the full amount, but a, a portion of their portfolio is dedicated to this strategy. Um, this service you're going to find is properly priced for the value you're going to receive. Uh, like I said, you're going to be earning while you're learning. Uh, the other thing I'd just like to mention is 10% of all the profits will be donated to our local food cupboard where I serve on the board and I'm a volunteer. It's a very, very good. Um, organization. Uh, my website is www.optionsinfinity.com. I am going to be doing another uh, video on a bear call uh, on, uh, let's see, I think it was a bear call that we did on PepsiCo and showing you how, how this works uh, when you have a loss and how you get out at that point. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you can utilize the information. Uh, good luck to you, and uh, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye now.